Okay, so for loans, we are going to use the same formula. Again, you can just read this info up here. It's just like mortgages. Amortization is where we use when we're killing a debt. Um, same formula. So problem three, you can afford $150 per month as a car payment. If you can get an auto loan at 5% interest for 60 months, which would be five years total. So that's given out to you the 60 months is K equal to 12 and N equal to five. How expensive of a car can you afford? In other words, what amount loan can you pay off with $150 per month? And how much extra interest will you need to pay overall? That's always an interesting thing to find out how much more you might actually be paying. So I'm gonna go through this one pretty quickly. Um, we are going to plug in, we're trying to find P sub zero, we're plugging in 150 as our D, then one minus parentheses one plus 0 0.05 over 12, and parentheses to the negative five times 12, or negative 60, we could just put right in there, all divided by um, 0 0.05 divided by 12. We do want to make sure we don't round that. So <clears throat> use your parentheses for some in-between steps. If I were typing this in, I would have 150 and then I'm going to get 1 minus 0 0.7792. Make sure you don't do minus 1 instead of 1 minus. And then this bottom number will be, we're just going to use parentheses, but it will come out to be 0 0.004166 and so on if you were to have um, calculated that out. Then once I go ahead and find my values for 1 minus 0 0.7792, I'm going to uh, multiply by 150 and then divide by the parentheses 0 0.05 divided by 12 end parentheses and then hit enter and I will get for my answer that I can afford a $7,948.61 loan. Okay, so that's what I wouldn't want to get a car um, any more than that unless I could put a down payment on it. So if you think about how much you paid into that, so it was $150 as your deposit. So the total interest would be what you paid in is going to be more this time than what you actually um took the loan out from so it's like we did with the future value but it's just in reverse so we would do the D times the K times the N minus P sub zero so in this case we're gonna get the interest equal to 150 times 60 the 5 times 12 minus our $7,948.61. And in interest, I will get $1,051.39 in interest. So that's how much extra I have to pay. Something to think about when you're getting a car. In problem four, you want to buy a $320,000 home, you can put 20% down and take a loan on the rest. The interest rate on the loan is 5% and the loan is for 30 years. How much will your monthly payments be? So the first step that you need to do is to subtract the 20% off of this. So, or another way of thinking of it is you're taking a loan out on only 80% will be remaining because you're paying 20% in um, cash to the bank. So 
figure that out first. 0 0.8 times 320,000, we would get, let's push this all up, um, $256,000. And then we're going to try to find D. And I'm going to let you pause the video and figure out all the rest that you should fill in there. Okay. And, um, it's again, it's a 5% loan at monthly payment. So it's compounded monthly. Remember those have to match. Okay. So we can start filling this in. We're going to have one minus parentheses one plus 0 0.05 over 12. And that's raised up to the negative 30 times 12. And just be careful about using parentheses where needed and hitting enter in between. So for an in-between step, I would uh, crunch all those numbers. I'm going to get 256,000 and then equals D times 186.2816, so on and so forth. And I just leave that in my calculator and I hit the 256,000 divided by second answer is the root I'm going to take with that. And I will get $1,374.26. Um, so that's how much my payments are approximately. I mean, there's some round, you know, round off buildup, even in a calculator that happens. So if overall you are paying um, that much in every month so we're going to do that times 12 and we'll just figure that out the $1,374.26 times 12 and then times the 30 make sure you don't hit times negative because that won't work too well that's just part of the formula that's not we're not doing it for negative um, 30 years. We're just doing it 30 years. So sometimes people just kind of pop that same number of the exponent in by accident. So I would have my interest would be the $494.26. Dollars and sixty cents minus the value of my house, what I took the loan out for two hundred fifty six thousand. So it's not actually the value of the house; it's just what I that eighty percent of what the house costs. Um, and then that is going to equal overall we would have two hundred thirty eight thousand seven hundred thirty three dollars and sixty cents in interest. I think, oh my gosh, why would I ever want to do that? Well, you want to have a house. I mean, you get paid rent anyway, and uh, the lower percentage you can get, and the less you can take a loan out for, the better. But it is hard to come up with all that money in the first place. So it's just something to think about and realize how these um, loans work and how much over time you're going to be paying that off and you usually you pay off your um interest you know before the principal gets paid down so sometimes if you can pay a little extra every month and but you have to make a note that it goes toward your principal or they they won't do that for you so about halfway through it flips around and that's the last one for this activity. So I hope you found that helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great weekend.